NASA is launching a tool that could help scientists better understand climate change. January was the eighth consecutive warmest month globally on record, and temperatures across a majority of the world's oceans also hit unprecedented levels. ABC News Chief Meteorologist and Chief Climate Correspondent Ginger Z joins me now with how NASA's trying to find out why. Ginger, yes. so what did NASA officials tell you about this tool and how they're using the data it's collecting? Right, so I made a call yesterday, Diane, because we got the new information in January, hottest January on record, eighth month in a row, and it felt like we just kept repeating the same thing, but we really haven't honed in on the why. Um, a lot of people will talk about the different variables, which we will get to, uh, but one of them is aerosols, meaning the particles in the air. And so what they did last night, NASA launched a satellite, and that satellite called PACE is not only gonna be looking at the ocean and the plankton and how they kind of interact with carbon, but for this part, what's important, it'll be looking at aerosols, what type they are, meaning the type that come from shipping, say, that has greatly reduced in the last couple of years, or the type that come from dust or sea spray. And they'll be able to figure out how those are interacting with our planet. Because sulfur dioxide, the thing that comes out of a lot of the fossil fuels that we burn, that actually reflects light. And so that, as we've reduced and made our air pollution better, has allowed more sunlight in, allowing us to heat more. So anyway, this rocket is going to help, or I'm sorry, the satellite is going to help to determine that variable of aerosols and how much that has to do with the heat. And if you look at the record heat, right, January now officially from Copernicus, the warmest January on record, it really is quite insane to see the whole picture of how far above average, like how far above the last record this year has been. And so um, the NASA scientist, Gavin Schmidt, who I spoke with, he said, NASA, we like puzzles, but we like to solve puzzles. And that's what they're going to be working on with PACE, the satellite. And Ginger, aerosols aren't the only variable NASA's working on to understand this record-breaking global heat. So what else are they looking at here? You've probably heard a lot of people say, yeah, but it's El Nino. And they're correct. El Nino peaked right now. Like We just peaked. And we're going. you see the Pacific Ocean. Remember, El Nino means the Pacific Ocean has abnormally warm temperatures. However, remember this whole heating thing started last summer, before we even had El Nino. So that made a lot of scientists kind of perk up and say, wait, that has nothing to do with El Nino yet. Now we expect after a peak of El Nino, like right now, the spring should be warmer than average. And that's where we should be seeing the anomaly. That said, El Nino is not the only variable. A lot of people will talk about the Hunga Tonga eruption, the volcano. And did that have an effect? Because it put a bunch of things in the stratosphere. And a lot of the scientists are saying that they think that's relatively negligible or almost cancels itself out with the sulfur in the water. Anyway, they need to figure out which variable it is. And hopefully, this PACE satellite is going to help them do that. All right, Chief Meteorologist and Climate Correspondent Ginger Z. So interesting, Ginger. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.